So this is our small compact kitchen. We love it. It's functional, but we just wanted to update it and not have the brown wood look. So that really was the aim of this kitchen transformation. So this was one of the many lockdown projects that we worked on as a family. I know it's night time now, but I've decided that I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to take the doors and the handles off the kitchen cupboards ready for the reno. So I've taken that one off already. So I'll document the process so that you'll see. So I've finished taking off all the handles, some of the doors, but I don't want to make too much noise the drill not drill whatever screwdriver <laughs> it's making too much noise in the night so i've removed the the handles only so far but only two doors the gray is going up nicely now it's night as well it's what time is it after six or so Gray would look prefer gray. First coat. So hopefully tomorrow one coat and then it should be done. I will show you the finished look. This is the day after the night before when it had the first coat. So today we're going to be giving it the second coat and hopefully it doesn't need any more than the, just two coats. Did you like this part? Yeah. Ever since we came to the UK, we've been collecting these teapots. We have lots and lots. They're always on the kitchen cupboard. And we decided that we wanted to change them to all white and return them there. And here is our brand new kitchen and we love it so we've still got the red stools which we love because that's the accent color in our kitchen we still have our gray countertops or gray ceramic floor but now we've got gray cupboards 
accentuated by our black tiles black subway tiles we love the look and we've decided that we're going to go minimalist in the kitchen so lots of things that we usually have out like our rice cooker or slow cooker blenders mixers we're not going to keep those out we're we've put them away in the pantry and then when we need to use them that's when we'll bring them out i think the fridge is just popping i've never seen my fridge look so shiny it's just popping with this gray so tell us what you think in the comments do you prefer the gray look of our kitchen cupboards or do you prefer the brown now remember this shocking news look at the top you can see it in another view but that's what was left from our teapots all the others smashed and broke oh it was so sad hi good morning so we wanted to talk about some of the things that we learned from doing this kitchen reno because there have been lots of lessons, lessons. to learn mm -hmm. and as well we showed some of the pictures so far on Instagram, Instagram and some people were intrigued with what things we used and how we got mm -hmm. the look that we achieved and so on so I'll we'll share a little bit of that with you as well so most of the things that we bought, we bought from Wilco's, mm -hmm. trusted online, Wilco's, online, online right. So we didn't go into the shop. We ordered the things online. They were delivered to our home and then we started to use them. So from Wilco's, we had, this is the paint that we used. So it's Wilco furniture and cupboard paint, quick dry. And it is in the color slate gray with a satin finish. So I ordered three cans of this and how much does it hold? 750 mils. 750 mils. We still have one full can and, and some, some maybe about half in the other. So it took us about one and a half cans to do the kitchen. And we did two coats. Cupboard doors, top and bottom. This skirting inside the kitchen yeah. itself. The breakfast bar area. Yeah, the back of the breakfast covered. bar, yes. And we also have uh, our fridges inset. It's not really a built, it's not really a, what do you call it? Um, the cupboard door isn't on it. Right. So but it's it not has integrated. Its yeah. Right. But it has its own lovely surround. <laughs> and that was painted as well. And it took just one and a half cans. In addition, we had um, rollers, paint brushes. From Wilco's as from well. From Wilco's. We had... Um, this this one wasn't bought from Wilco's. We bought this later on when we needed some more. Uh, but it's white spirit that you used to wash the brushes and rollers. And to be honest, that's the worst part of the job for me. I <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. I can't stand the smell. I can't stand the muckiness. I, I didn't know where to wash it because it was cold. So we couldn't use the tap outside. So we had to use the downstairs bathroom tap. And I just don't like that part of the what, process. What I didn't like was the... After a while, the brush became sticky. Right. Gooey, and people who do um, DIYs don't All tell you this. But it does get, especially with oil paint, yeah. does get gooey and sticky. And this helps as well if you put a little bit of this in. Yeah, to loosen, so to loosen it up a bit. Up the yeah. bristles, and that helped. So I, I, I didn't quite enjoy that part. But when I found out about using this, that did help. Yes. Yeah. So it's called White Spirit. Hopefully you saw that. White spirit does help. Right. And we also had to get some sugar soap from Wilco's as well. And that was to wipe down the surfaces. So before um, painting, prepare your surface by cleaning all the grease and dirt and grime. And especially since it was in the kitchen. So we had to use this. So we did um, the sugar soap in warm water. Cleaned it thoroughly. And, and then... then Wiped, wiped it, it down again with just fresh warm water so that was helpful and in the in the area near to the cooker round about the cooker we did use the um sugar, sugar soap, soap but it was still a bit greasy so what we did we didn't want we well we tried we didn't want the grease to show through 
we were not able to get rid of all the grease and we didn't want it to show through the grease so what we did was to prime that area first mm. so we primed that was the only area that we primed and then used the two coats of the paint and it did, did, did the job mm. so that was good one of the things i want to talk about is lessons that we have learned from doing this um makeover ourselves i suppose we could take turns telling what yes. we learned yeah one it was much much more well it was much cheaper doing yeah, it ourselves cost effective certainly. because i'm sure if we called in contractors or workmen to do change out some lighting fixtures take off the doors of the paint cupboards them. and paint and, and put, replace them, them. The what else did we do um just so the general painting, cleaning ourselves cleaning down putting the things prep back that had to be done before cost, in terms of cost yeah mm. I'm sure they'd charge us maybe two hundred pounds or, or so. Or more. And the only thing other than the um the things that I just told you that we bought, the only thing I paid for was for electrical works. And not major electrical, electrical works just as to well. change. So light we had fixtures. two light fixtures in the kitchen that we wanted to change out to new ones. Mm -hmm. And we had three in two other rooms as well that we wanted to change out so we just grouped that all together so that was five light fixtures to change and we asked somebody to come in to do it socially distanced of, of course yeah and we had the to cost, stay in a different room right open all the windows up mm. yeah and the cost of that was just 40 pounds so to change mm. five light fixtures including the two in the kitchen one in the kitchen and one in the dining, dining area, area was 40 pounds so that was the most cost that we had to pay mm. not even the paint and so on came to so much so that what was pretty cost effective was a learning lesson well one thing that was a learning point for for me as well is i don't know i can't stand contractors in my house to me they're too messy not just during COVID inconsiderate times. yes they'll they'll work for the day and then they'll leave stuff just messy although they know they're coming back the next day but mm. people actually live in this house but they leave such a mess so i didn't like i love the fact that we got to do it ourselves so that we didn't have to have that mess mm. to put up with i like to talking about contractors that we didn't have to feel upset if they left yeah. things and didn't come back the next day right. like they said they would so when you're doing it yourself you you know it in right and there's nobody to blame there's nobody to make a fuss with because you are making you are the contractor yeah you are the contractor you set things how you want it put right. things aside so that you can easily come back to it and yeah. there's nobody to blame and so you that's know, a good part as well. as well because it was our kitchen and that's uh like the hub of the house that's where we're always at that's where we eat all our meals that's where we prepare all the meals it was good to be able to still have the things in the cupboard without the doors on and yeah. still feel safe i don't know Using how i'd them. feel if yes if, if people were in and in out and, out and, and my food them. stuff was there and yeah. my pots and pans and so on so i liked that i think as a family as well doing it all together and <clears throat> everybody having a little part to do helped i'm sure you saw um the girls painting yeah or earlier in the year when we did the kitchen as well when we did, when the, we dining, did the dining room the set. dining room yeah and changing the color of the tables and chairs that was a nice yes. thing so a nice we all worked together together yes we all worked together really well and there was no fuss at all not even once mm. and i liked as well that we got to we had some input into what was chosen and yeah. where things were long beforehand yeah we so we just thought we of wanted. it talked about it decided on things and then bought them in fact i wanted to change the handles on the cupboard doors to black but everybody else's no. choice was <laughs> no, <leave laughs> for them, them to remain chrome so yeah. i lost out on that one but that was good as well because it, we work in a democracy <laughs> <laughs> so nobody had the overarching um say on anything hmm. one of the things i considered letting or subscribers know is that things are not always as easy as they seem we follow some youtubers, YouTubers that we've learned a whole lot from right. to be honest like, so let's say some of them yes Shade. she's in the uk so it's yeah Shade shannon on instagram i think as well yeah. as youtube um mckenna mckenna in, in the, the u.s, US. The Sorry um, Girls. The Sorry Girls US as well. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Carrington, we did get some hints from him as well. Mm. And um, Luke. Luke. Luke Catlow. Catlow. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes 
they inspire us to do things yourself yeah. without being scared that it's hard to do and you'll never be able to you'll do never it. Manage. They're really inspirational. But at the same time, people don't tell you the real nitty gritty things that things yeah. do get tough sometimes. Because there was one part of the kitchen where we had to climb up and that was there for days, not done. Yeah, no. One coat <laughs> done. Yeah. And then nobody wanted to go up to do the other coat. Because and then we one don't day, like heights. <laughs> yeah. And then one day I just said, let's just, let's just do it. Get up early one morning and let's just get, get it done. Yeah. But people don't tell you sometimes. Sometimes it is tiring. But you just, I would suggest, go at your own pace. You're doing yes. your own stuff. And You're that's not what taking on contracted work. You're yeah. working in your own home. It is a fun thing to do. To actually envision the project imagine what you want it to be like and then take your do own it. time yeah. do it in your own pace it's it's a good feeling so overall we're really happy that we have taken on the challenge that we've redone our kitchen that we've redone now our living or dining room sorry made up the pantry as well made the scratch. pantry from scratch we didn't have a pantry before lockdown so as we look forward to coming out of lockdown then we know that we're going to enjoy all these things that we did together as a family during lockdown this has inspired us as well to take on other projects as we yeah. said in one of our previous videos we now have a sander yes <laughs> we have so a we sander have, so we and have some <laughs> projects in mind that we're planning to do come with us on the journey it's going to be fun i'm sure we're going to make mistakes but who cares it's yeah. ours we'll learn from it and we'll go upwards and onwards, onwards. together forever Hope you've enjoyed this little chat with us and I hope you have enjoyed the look of our kitchen as well. And you're and inspired to try some things on your own. Something road. new in your home. And if you have any comments on what we've done or if you want to ask us any questions about the process as well, please feel free to drop us a line. You can write it in the comments below mm -hmm. or you can email us at joelisacreed at, at yahoo.com yahoo and the spelling is J-O-L-E-I-S-A C R E E D at yahoo.com. And that's the same for our Instagram as well, Jolisa Creed. So do check us out on Instagram. We do put some pictures on Every sometimes again. of what we're doing, what we're getting up to. And we've got some lovely comments. So we hope to see you there soon. Thank you. Bye.